वेलकम टू एस टी बी एग्जाम फोरम स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव कम अप विथ चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी सीरीज इन रीजनिंग एंड जर्नल इंटेलिजेंस राइट सो द आउटलाइन ऑफ दिस सेशन विल बी लाइक दिस फर्स्ट वी विल सी द टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट यू माइट एक्सपेक्ट इन दिस चैप्टर ओके what are the different categories of series or uh, we will tell you each of them okay and the very important topic in this chapter is how to find pattern in the series okay if you know the pattern then you can easily guess the answer okay and we will see all these thing with the help of some sample questions right student the first topic is types of questions in series there are three types of question that can be formed what are those the first one is find the next term in the series next term means this is a series so what will be the next term in this series so question marks determine the next term in the series okay the next is find the missing term in the series a series will be given to you you have to find out the missing term in that series okay we will see all these question in the sample a uh, slide okay the next is find the wrong term in series here you have to figure out which of the term of this series is wrong okay so these are the three type of question that you might expect in the exam okay coming to the next topic uh, types of series so we have different type of series what are that the first one is the number series what does this mean that there will be a series of number and based on the type of question you will be asked on these numbers okay so there will be only numbers in the series that is a number series okay the second one is alphabet series where you can bifurcate into two categories single and multiple alphabets so in single alphabet only single alphabet will be given to you and you have to determine the next alphabet or missing alphabet as given in the question okay we will tell you uh, how to see the pattern in all these uh, series whether it is number series or alphabet series okay don't worry we will tell you everything next one is a group alphabet uh, where a group of alphabet will be given to you and you need to determine the next uh, pattern in that given question okay then alpha numeric series it is combination of both number series and alphabet series this is also a good category of series question okay and very uncommon question is repeated pattern series okay where some pattern will be given to you and some missing uh, character or missing number will be there okay so you need to determine those numbers or characters okay so uh, the most important chapter or section of this video is this one how to find pattern in number series okay how to find pattern so very first step is see the difference okay uh, we will uh, see with the example in the coming slide just hold for some time okay first step you should do the check the difference it can be additive or subtractive okay if uh, there is no common difference you go for the multiplication so how will you identify whether multiplication operation has been applied based on the number given in series so first number is small second number is very big okay and third number is very big so it means that you are using some multiplication operation because of which you are uh seeing a huge variation between the numbers okay similarly with the division if uh, the numbers is big in starting and it's decreasing very sharply in the end it means division operation is applied fourth one is if nothing works then you go for the special number 
whether it can be square cube prime even odd okay in the next step you go for the near to special number say if it is given 35 15 then you should understand it is less than the square of a given number okay so near to the special number is also a important case and the last one is a double operation this is very complex to understand but a double operation where uh, multiple uh, steps are uh, can be applied on the series to get the answer okay these are typical one uh, we do not expect uh, in septum exam these type of question okay so the very first question is uh, this is a series so just try to solve it pause the video and just uh, solve it yes so here what you are finding that the difference between two number is 4 then 6 then 8 then what should be the uh, difference 10 so your difference is continuously increasing by 2 so what will be the next uh, term 30 so the correct answer will be 30 in that case okay only here uh, you can see the difference and just uh, can answer this question okay this is the next question just try to see it yes this is based on multiplication how we are saying multiplication because as you can see there is a huge number in the series and these are smaller as compared to that number so must be some multiplication operation must be applied so let's see so 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 okay 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 6 multiplied by 4 is 24 so 24 multiplied by 5 is 120 so this is the answer and you can verify with the next term 120 into 6 is 720 okay so the correct answer is option 3 coming to the next question uh, this is as i told you earlier this is a huge number and in the last you are expecting a very least number so there must be some division operation so let's see the answer so you are continuously dividing by a number less than the previous number so here you are dividing by 6 here you are dividing by 5 here you are dividing by what 4 okay so the answer for this question is 192 uh, you can uh, go other way around 8 to the 16 16 3 48 16, okay this is similar to like uh, back and forth na so whatever the best uh, way you suit you go with that okay coming to the next question this is very typical one just uh, try to see it and solve it yes yes it is near to some special number what are the special numbers so one square is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 2 square is 4 4 minus 1 3 3 square is 9 9 minus 1 8 15 is what 4 square minus 1 then it should be 5 square minus 1 so the answer is 24 okay let's see the next one 6 square minus 1 6 6 is 36 36 minus 1 is 35 and 7 7 is 49 49 minus 1 is 48 so the correct answer is option 2 okay let's see the next question here you are doing double operation this is double operation students so initially there is some pattern okay but this number uh, which you are e expecting the next is because of this double operation there is a difference between 2 2 2 in the second operation okay so the correct answer for this question is option number 4 okay so coming to the next uh, part is how to find pattern in alphabet series okay so alphabet series is also important here the very common step is positional difference what does this position difference based on the position of uh, the alphabet in the alphabet a to z what is the position of that alphabet okay for example position of e in alphabet is 5 okay position of j in alphabet is 10 okay 
so what is the trick that i i'm going to tell you and uh, the other is circular these are very uncommon but uh, you should know that there can be circular uh, difference also okay so the trick is ejot as you must have heard what does this mean e stand for it is in the fifth position j stand for 10th position o stand for 15th and t stand for 20th and y stand for 26th so if you want to know about uh, uh, the position of u what will be the direct relation t is 20 st u u will be 21 so you can directly see the position based on this ejot principle okay so let's see the question and uh, this is the question uh, if you uh, don't know the position you can go like uh, this also like a a plus 3 is d means a b c d third one is d then fourth one is h then fifth one is m then if you add six position it become s and if you add seventh it position become z so we have to find the missing term so missing term is s so the correct answer is option number 3 understood okay coming to the next question uh this is a group of alphabet is here uh, this is very simple one if you uh, look uh, i will tell you the simple one how it is working a b c d then you are missing e f g h i j k l m n o p three you are missing q r s t then u v w x then y y is there y in the first so option 1 should be the correct or otherwise you can go like this if you are adding a with 8 then you are getting i another 8 you are getting q another 8 you are getting y okay similar with the other alphabets okay then how to find pattern in alphanumeric this is combination of both alphabet and numeric so whatever the rule we have discussed in the previous slides uh, those rules also applied here okay so next is how to find uh, pattern in repeated pattern series type of question okay so it is very easy just go with the highly dense group of alphabets or numbers okay wherever there is some uh, more characters you just go for that okay let's see the example so this is a repeated pattern okay you have to find out the filled uh, fill in the blanks okay these are the position which you should uh, fill okay so here highly dense is this one this consists of 3 to 6 characters so let's see the pattern we have ccb so ccb is common so ccbc is common so ccbc they are making a group so after that c c b c it should be c so this character should be c okay so as you can see only option number 1 satisfy so this is the correct answer okay or you can make a group of it uh, from uh, making a group you can also uh, answer this question okay that's all for today student uh, we will come with more chapter okay thank you have a nice day